If you're still running Windows 7, you may have received this message that your Windows 7 PC is out of support. As of January 14th, 2020, for support for Windows 7 has come to an end. So what should you do? Well, if you are happy with your computer, if it's meeting your needs, if uh, you know all you do is go online and maybe check your email, run a couple of other pieces of software that still meet your needs, there's actually nothing that you need to do other than go down here to the lower left hand corner and click on don't remind me again. The truth of it is is that Windows 7 has been around uh, since 2009, that's over 10 years. All right, and in that time, it has been uh, patched and extended and tons of security uh, updates have come in. All right, so it is a solid, reliable, uh, well put together operating system. In fact, it's the only Microsoft operating system in my experience that out of the box was really stable. Right? Like when Windows XP came out, uh, there were all kinds of stability issues. Not that Windows 7 had none, but uh, I service computers and uh, the uh, stability of Windows 7 was very obvious to me from the beginning. Okay? It's only had one service pack and uh, most of the other operating systems had, uh, you know, two or three at least, right? So, um, you know, that's the root advice. If if you're not frustrated with the performance of your PC, if uh, it's been doing everything that you're asking it to, then uh, by all means, just click that little do not or don't remind me again uh, link there and, and just soldier on, right? Now, there are reasons that you may want to switch to Windows 10. You may have to, you know, for example, uh, Sage 50 is an accounting program and uh, their latest versions are only supported on Windows 10. You cannot install them on Windows 7, right? So, you know, if you're uh, using Sage 50 for accounting, um, whether you're, you know, an accountant or you're just doing it for your personal business, uh, you may be forced to upgrade to Windows 10, right? So, so, uh, and there's a lot of software like that, uh, generally in the business sector, uh, that will require you to have Windows 10. Also in the gaming area, there may be games uh, that require Windows 10, right? And you may just simply be curious about, you know, what's the latest thing, you know, what does Windows 10 have to offer? And you may want to switch, right? And that's totally fine. But don't feel that you are forced to. Your computer will not stop working, okay? Uh, some people have that impression that once support is done, uh, it's just going to one day uh, roll over and die on them, and that's not true. Uh, this same kind of message was given out uh, back when Windows XP was all the rage, right? And uh, an issue that Microsoft had at that time was that people were so happy with Windows XP, it was so stable and so useful that uh, they had to drag them kicking and streaming, to, uh, not streaming, screaming to the next operating system, right? And uh, despite all the warnings, uh, I still have people who uh, are running Windows XP machines and running them happily, right? Uh, granted, the further that you get away from uh, this end of support area, uh, the more likely it is that you're going to discover that there's software you want to run that you can't run on your PC, right? So uh, eventually, um, you may feel that you want to upgrade, but that may not be for another five years or so. So don't panic and uh, stick with Windows 7 if uh, you feel happy to do so. Don't, don't feel pressured into doing it. Now, um, if you do want to upgrade to Windows 10, um, I'll put a link to a video uh, below uh, about uh, how to do that for free. Uh, now, keep in mind that the machine that you're using for Windows 7 may not be suitable for Windows 10. So you want at a minimum four gigabyte of RAM, okay? And, uh, you know, I would suggest at least, say, in, if you're in the Intel line, uh, at least an i5 processor, right? Uh, if you have anything less than that, um, your performance may suffer, right? Uh, or, uh, 
it may just be some, not just performance in terms of oh it feels kind of slow it may be virtually unusable right because things are just uh, dragging their feet the most stable way to upgrade to windows 10 is to get a new pc right uh, the, the newer computers are purpose-built to run windows 10 and you're going to have fewer uh, you know stability and uh, you know bug issues if you have a, you're starting with a new machine in which case of course you'll need to back up all of your uh, data from your windows 7 machine and have it transferred over to the windows 10 machine right um i'm not i'm not uh trying to pressure you too much into getting a new pc here however uh, you may find that your Windows 7 machine is uh, totally adequate for running Windows 10. And since there is a free option uh, for upgrade, again, there should be a link in the description about that. Uh, there's no harm in trying, right? Uh, and, and seeing how uh, an in-place upgrade works for you. Now, other options here, of course, on this screen are remind me later, right? If you want to think about it, and you just and you want this to pop up again and and prompt you, uh, and they do have a learn more button, and if you click on that, it will open a web page uh, on the Microsoft website, and um, you know it'll give you a bit of general information, and it also has some links about, uh, well, you know, checking out the latest PCs, how to back up your files and photos, uh, some tips on Windows 10 to help uh, familiarize you with uh, the new interface. It's not it's not too bad of an upgrade uh, learning curve wise, by the way, uh, if, you know, if you're a light user and you do tend to just check your email and go online, your experience won't be all that different, right? And, um, and then they have a sync your favorites area here about, you know, talking about Internet Explorer and Edge and uh, perhaps other browsers. So um, there is more information from Microsoft uh, about this whole process. Hopefully this has helped you uh, make some decisions about what to do with your Windows 7 PC. Thank you very much for watching.